second reefing. Joe had to fight with that one. Sometimes you just have to put two reefs in because it gets too crazy out here. But once he gets that all tied up, the sails should start to behave a little better. Jim, that's our autopilot. He's doing his job great. Driving the boat, keeping us going, keeping us upright. While Joe goes and deals with the sail. Like he is. Out of Joseph. 
Lose it. We're a dead stick. Something broke. And we're getting help. The Adam Joseph. Mad props to these guys at the U.S. Coast Guard. I'm here in a second. A little bit. We're going to be turning around. Well. In sailing and everything else in the world, there's a minor possibility that something could go awry. And last night, it, some, did. it finally did. Um, we were about 60 miles off the coast of, of Louisiana. Louisiana, and we lost helm control of the boat. We were heading east, doing about five or so miles per hour. Um, had both sails up, moving right along, and I lost helm. The boat started veering downrange, and I couldn't get it back. Um, I went and dropped the sails, um, had Cinda make the mayday call for Coast Guard. Um, as soon as I got the sails down, I dropped a ground tackle. We were in about 94 feet of water or so. 10 foot seas. It was about 10 foot seas, about 15 or so miles of wind. It was kind of scary. Coming out of the southeast or so. Um, I put 55 pound anchor on the seabed and laid out all 200 feet of, of our chain. Um, slowed us down, pointed us into the waves. The boat mellowed out enough to where I could get the main and the head sail down, get them at least stowed away so they weren't all over the place. Um, went back to the helm. Cinda was there on the horn with the Coast Guard. And then and the Adam Joseph. The Adam Joseph is a working tug for one of the oil platform companies out here. They were out doing maintenance. They happened to be within eyeshot of us. We were neck, we were pretty close to three platforms um, when the incident occurred. Um, they came over, threw us a line. I just cut the ground tackle free. Um, they went to pulling us inland to um, Clearwater Port, I think it's uh, Abbeville, Louisiana. That's where we're at right now in the Motel 6. The Motel 6. Um, we are, uh, we're okay. Dog's okay. Um, boat's not. Boat's gone. 
We, we lost we her. We spoke with the Coast Guard, Sheriff's Department, Water Patrol, Towboat U.S. Um, in the process of leaving the boat, the tug came in contact with the rear of the sailboat. Um, doing significant damage, including ripping off the AIS antenna. So we're not even sure if she's still floating or not. Nobody knows where she's at. As of this morning, um, it is Monday. The 11th. The 11th. Um, it's uh, 1221 right yeah, now. Just at, It was about 11 o'clock last contact I had with the Coast Guard. And they went and looked again and verified that the AIS transponder was no longer sending out a signal. Um, so we're... We're pretty sure that she has met her demise. Um, we are currently waiting for a ride to come to pick us up. We're Take us back to Clear Lake, going Texas. Going back to Clear Lake, Texas. <laughs> um, we, the cruising community is amazing. Um, we The time that we spent there in Clear Lake, we've made quite a few contacts and friends there. And so we have a place to stay, we have a ride, we have basically all of the things that we need to survive right now. Um, because we are officially homeless. Uh, it's a good thing that we have Progressive Insurance. Thank <laughs> you, Progressive, for being on our side, really. I mean, the, uh, the clients people there were amazing. They took our information, they were happy to help. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really... I'm really thankful that we had insurance on the boat, um, not just liability. If you're going to have a sailboat, you're going to you have everything you own. full coverage. You need to pay what you need to pay to protect at least the unforeseen foreseeable for future. The what that, if. Yeah, the what if factor. Just It can come out of nowhere. Um, it's been a very trying 24 hours. Um, the call went out at 12.35 yesterday on Sunday, the 8th. Um, the just, 10th, because today's the 11th. Or the 10th, <laughs> yeah. Um, just, um, just putting this out there, um, we're closing down the YouTube channel as for now. Um, this will be our last this video. This will be the last video that we make, but we're alive. We made it back to land. Mm. The boat is a loss, though. But. We have our lives. We have our lives. And the journey will continue somehow, some way. <laughs> we'll find another boat. To be continued. <laughs> bye bye. Start another channel. So.